of serving. That's number one. Number two, in my heart, I thought I was doing a good thing because if we could put it on the ballot for six months, it gives the people that want the post office, and I'm one of them, okay, the opportunity to go out to a grassroots movement like what was done with the library and try to keep it here. Come up with revenue and do it. I will not vote against the will of the people ever. Yes, sir. Revenue-wise, how much is the township saving now that we don't have Don Regan to kick around anymore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't know the full answer to that, but it's gonna gonna be roughly probably about five thousand dollars. Okay. All right. The zoning end of Don's job will not go away. That still goes on. He was zoning administrator along with building the building department. In the last two years, well, actually about the last four or five, showed a loss. It paid down more than it brought in. But because of prior years, it had a very healthy fund balance. And this year, we had to move $5,000 out of the general fund into the building department to make it. But this was the first year, and I'm speaking last year, not the current year. Last year was the first year we actually had to move ours over there. But that said, with the transfer going to the county, if we're not going forward, there's enough left to possibly pay our 5000 back. Mm -hmm. So we could get that back. If we do that, then there will be virtually no cost savings by Don going away. So there's not a savings there because the one end of the job stays. We still have to take zoning. That, that has to stay. So. Um, also, please explain to me, and I, I don't know, uh, I've only been hearing bits and pieces of this. We're having a problem coming up with $15,000 or $17,000 to the CPU running, <coughs> yet we're talking about spending $100,000 on some path to nowhere I keep hearing about. Can you explain to me mm, the differences there? I don't think it's so much coming up with the $15,000. For me, it's just... It's that last election. It was two to one vote. Well, I would have and to then, say. At two to one vote, and then I talked to these board members that were on the board when they voted to start the CPU, and they said if they would have known the honest numbers when they voted, they would have never voted for it in the first place. Then there's been, for the last two or three months, a big push down there at the post office to get everybody in here that's for the post office. Now, there was almost 900, 900 some people have voted against it. Yeah. And we've had 10 or 15, maybe 20 people in here fighting for it. So my position is I'm not gonna take the side of 20 people against 900. Not only that I'm you. looking at what happened on the <clears throat> last election and what I'm hearing out in the community. When you start talking about different funds, some of the money is absolutely earmarked for a certain thing. You could not move money from the road millage and, and pay for the post office. That would be illegal. Mm -hmm. And on the $100,000 on the path, I was against that path up until Kelly from the Road Commission said that if we do that path, it makes the road last that much longer and over time we would get our money back and we would be money ahead. That's when I changed my opinion on the path. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Yes. Thank you. Yes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not so sure that people are voting against the post office as they would have voted against anything that was going to raise their taxes. I'm not sure there are even people yet in Crow Township that know we have a post office. And I'm wondering if we maybe shouldn't advertise a little bit uh, so people know, know the hours. Know, I mean, there are people who have said to me, oh, I didn't know we had a post office program. And I don't, I don't think it was against the post office as much as it was just against the millage, regardless of what it was. Well, and Sherry, that's been the argument we've used to keep going. I mean, understand that. 100% <clears throat> the argument we've used to keep this going past the election is we said the exact same thing you did. And, you know, probably the hardest thing in the world is for this. I, 
Fiscally responsible, this thing makes no sense. People like you and Cindy and Ed back there want things. It, going against you guys is the hardest thing in the world I'd ever do on anything, but this thing makes no fiscal sense. You know, and that's what it comes down to. It, is this the best way we could spend $17,000 in this community? We've let some of the parks go. We need a $3,000 well at Cochran Park. I mean, we've let things go to try this. When it was first proposed, it was a trial. We were going to see it. It was going to make money. It was going to bring revenue in. Or at the bare minimum, it would cover itself. It's a long way from doing that. It and it just, it, you know, it hasn't been there that long. It's only three years old. And we gave it a shot. You know, it just, it didn't work the way it should have. And the postal company themselves are saying, this isn't working. You know, it isn't just our board saying that. They're saying it. The lady in Nuevo ain't pushing for this. Joanne's not pushing for this. Anybody I talk to doesn't tell me that I'm a fool to not keep this going. Anybody I talk to within the postal system says the opposite. I said, come to the meeting, please. I implore you, come to the meeting and say this. We won't do that. Well, then why are you saying it to me on the phone? My sister is a postmaster, retired. My brother-in-law is a postmaster, retired. Yep. And they will tell you that the postal people are not the most easy people to get along with. <laughs> to begin with. Other than the postal guys. <laughs> and again, I've supported the people we put in there from day one, and I think it was the best choice. I don't think this post office would be anywhere where it is today without the people that work there. And I believe that wholeheartedly. And I think it's ahead of what it would have been if we put anybody else in there. So, Katie. Okay, we're talking $17,000. John is setting up there at the dumpsters. He has no electricity. He has an outdoor toilet. He has no water. And we didn't have any money to give him any of that. And he never complains. And I think it's time we worried about John and what he needs at the transfer station. Here, 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 here. He's a good man. He is. He's a wonderful man. He never complains. Because I have a job. Oh. So, uh, you know, what I want is I want this discussion on here. I, I, want, I want everybody to think about this. Right. Where are we going to go? Is there anything we could sell in the post office to make money? Beer? Beer and wine? It depends on what you're selling. Not long ago. That was just time that we could If we have to close it, if we have to close it, can we not move it into the library area and have it combined with them? And have them be able to just have a small area. We, I don't we, we actually we out. actually proposed that, and we actually looked at that because the same thing it affects that. For that to happen, it has to be shut down on our part. Okay. Then they would have to petition to reopen. Okay. We cannot just give it over to them. So a store would have to do that too. Exactly. So if another store to wishes to take this, anybody okay. wants this. Once it's closed, they can grab it. Okay. But for that to happen, we have to close it. Okay. Ashley. And when this idea was proposed to the library, I did some research and I went to other places that had post office type thing in their library and their building. And it would not be the same post office. It would basically be selling stamps and mailing packages and that's yes and what we have over there. And with our staff, with our budget, there's no way we could accommodate that at all. So that was looked at actually. We've approached every store owner. Oh yeah. Oh yes. More than once. Jeans. We've gone to them. Jeans, Rochelle's, Alec Chesley. Alec Chesley's even had none of the store. Come on, buddy, take it. You got room now. <laughs> that wasn't even a thought. So, Jim. I was curious, in the last three and a half, four years, how many dollars has the township put into that under general funds? To the post office total? Yeah. To the, to the post. 
four, five, probably about 75, 80 